Can you please turn on the lights? I feel like I'm in a dungeon. <clears throat> Hello. My name is Dr. Z. I'm a veterinarian and I'm here to talk about heartworms. As visual and sound effects clearly indicate, these parasites are truly dangerous. Should they infect your pet, they will live in its lung artery and its heart. Badoom, badoom. They are about this big and the damage they cause will slowly kill your dog. But sometimes suddenly. Especially if your dog is a cat. In one moment it looks healthy and before you have time to say anti-disestablishmentarianism, boom, dead. And you'll be very sad. Which will also make your mother sad. And we have enough sadness and death in this world even without the heartworm, don't we? That's why we want to kill these worms! Which is done most safely and effectively while they are wee little larva babies. How? Heartworm crash course incoming. Heartworm ladies give birth to millions of microscopic larvae which end up in the blood circulation going round and round and round and round. Whew. Until a mosquito comes along, takes a sip of tainted blood and gives some of the larvae a cozy new home inside its belly. Skip two weeks, the mosquito feeds on another dog and the larvae, now bigger and better educated, are injected into the new host. Six to nine months later, these larvae have grown into adults and the cycle starts anew. So we give dogs these drugs called macrocyclic lactones, but for the sake of your sanity, I'll just call them Martin. Martin kills the tiny larvae in circulation as well as the bigger larvae coming from mosquitoes, thus preventing both incoming and outgoing infections. Martin has been the standard of heartworm control for years. Yet heartworm disease is still spreading. Why? My father used to say, when things go south, always find somebody to blame, you miserable little rat. The wild relatives of dogs, foxes, coyotes, werewolves and whatnot, run around unprotected, practically acting as four-legged heartworm farms. The same can be said about the dogs of people who can't or don't give their pets heartworm prevention. But even if you protect your dog, Martin isn't always 100% effective. It comes close, but still it's not. Some types of it may work better than others, and the same type can show varying effectiveness in different dogs. Therefore, from time to time, some of the more durable larvae may be able to survive the drug and be spread by mosquitoes. Human errors also contribute to the problem. People, you see, are stupid, uh, forgetful. And I'm not pointing fingers here, I forgot about my wedding anniversary yesterday. I even forgot to put on pants. People sometimes miss a dose of Martin, which makes its power in your pet system fluctuate. And low levels of the drug will only kill off weak larvae, but leave strong ones alive. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? And herein lies the root of drug resistance, the doctor's greatest fear. You're afraid of bears? We're afraid of drug resistance. When you check the closet for the boogeyman, we check it for drug resistance. We do not want parasites resistant to our weapons. So how should the problem be fixed? First, commit to using Martin and follow the damn schedule. I forgot about the dog's heart from prevention this month because I got hit by a train. Well, boohoo, man up. Second, you can use mosquito repellents as an added layer of defense. No mosquito bite, no infection. Happy pet, happy you. Better society, hope for the future of mankind. Simple as that. I mean, even human medicine pff, figured this one out when dealing with mosquito-borne diseases like malaria, yellow fever and the Zika virus. Don't get bitten and you'll get to live. Works with zombies too. Some repellents don't joke around and even kill the mosquitoes. Try spreading infection while dead. 
Notice how drug resistance of heartworms is not an issue here because they are taken care of before getting a chance to face off with Martin. Scientific data suggests that heartworm prevention today is best done by, well, I guess not having a pet, but please don't do that. You need cuddly, hairy things and I need my job. The second best solution is combining the powers of macrocyclic lactones and mosquito repellents. Neither provides absolute protection, but together they help fill the holes in each other's defenses. But as there are different types of Martin, there are also different types of repellents, with different strengths and weaknesses. How long do they last? How soon do they start working? Which mosquito species are they good against? Do they run movies in HD and are they really going to kill my cat? If you're confused as hell as to which ones to buy, the best thing you can do is not ask a random idiot in an internet forum, but go to your veterinarian for advice. Trust me, I may not be wearing pants, but I know what I'm talking about. Don't you... The technical information in this video was fact-checked by hardware masterminds Stephen Jones and John McCall. I thank them very much. As much as I thank SIVA for its support. If you've made it this far, why not like, comment or subscribe? Or check out my other videos. I know it would make at least one of us happy.